Good day everyone! Today we are going to tackle about art and artisan, the production process, the medium, technique, and curation. Before we start, formally start, let's try to first uh, identify what is being meant when we say artisan. So the word artisan is derived from the Italian artisan, which is stemmed from the Latin artitus. So it means instructed in the arts. An artisan is thus a skilled worker that has mastered a trade or a craft which can be purely decorative, functional, or both. Let's discuss about the brief history of artisan. So artisan can be traced all the way back to ancient Egypt as carpenters, stone carvers, potters, sculptor, sculptures, jewelers, and among other trades. Though these craftsmen were highly skilled and their work was valued, they themselves made part of the lower middle class and the social pyramid, uh, pyramid, so there is no pun intended. Only above slaves and farmers, so they catered to the pharaohs and the elite who treated them merely as a common laborer, so really praising the artisan for their mastery and skill. So an artisan is a social class system in the Asian society of Egypt. So they are above farmers and slaves. So they commonly they are commonly um, skilled in a certain area or a certain craft. So let's discuss. Uh, another one, which is the medieval period. So in medieval period, it wasn't until the medieval period that the role of the artisan in the society was specialized and appreciated. This was due to the formation of artisan guilds. So dito na pumapasok yung tinatawag natin guilds, mga association, which protected the rights and benefits of the producers and the consumers while also maintaining a standard standard of quality and workmanship. The guilds were made up of a master artisan or craftsman who owned their business and oversaw and educated apprentices in their craft. The master artisan was considered a nobleman in society, but artistry was still only seen for its collective capacity to produce and distribute essential goods. During the Renaissance period, however, the artisan first began to receive recognition for their genius and individual vision as a creative workers, rather than mere manual laborers or slaves as they had been, um, they had been throughout the history. These circumstances gave rise to the great artists that we celebrate today such as Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. So Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci are not an artist, rather they are actually an artisan. In the medieval period, today, the medieval artisan will be remembered for their great contribution contribution to the progressive progress and liberation of the artisan. Their collective efforts stands as a milestone in the pre-capitalist production. In their time, their livelihood was dependent on their abilities, as was the consumer on their products. After the Industrial Revolution, the demand for the artisan has dwindled. However, a recent revival of interest in original and quality products has spurred in a new wave of artisans. So, I am also interested in how these artisans work and what role they serve in today's society. The purpose of this, uh, of this lesson is the, to research this question. I also intend to include a historical background for the specific artisans that will be featured in the next topics. So, let's first discuss what is the difference between artist and artisan. An artist is an all fine artist who learns to sketch and begin with a pencil and sketch pad to work with an idea on paper. Artists transfer their vision to canvases or other medium and they, this may mean working in oil, watercolor, or pastel. Sculptures take their sketches and create a 3D products from clay, marble, or other material. Illustrator might work for a publishing or animation company or create original comic books. All artists' works aims to create an overall reaction from a viewer. So an artist create. So in create in an artist does not is not specialized in a certain skill. Rather, they create from nothing to something. While artisan are a craftsman who make practical artistic products such as earrings, urns, stained glass, and other accessories. Artisan gain their knowledge by studying under master craftsmen and then practicing with continued study. Artisan work to create something new, original, and at times provocative. 
they spend a good portion of their time selling and promoting their items in various marketplaces. So the difference between artists and artisan is that an artist create, created their own products through their imagination, while an artisan is a highly skilled worker who creates handicrafts and Crafts. A good example for this one is earrings, jewelries, urns, and other crafts that can be found in the society today. So an artist creates from uh, from nothing to something. Well, an artisan is pre-created or they have their own standard in creating in creating their own uh, crafts. So that is the difference between artist and artisan. What is the difference between art and craft? Craft is always exercised upon something and aims at transformation of this into that. The craftsman understands what he wants to make. The craftsman's skill in his knowledge of the means that are used to transform something and his mastery of those means. A fabricator understands what machines and tools are needed to transform metal into a desired shape. A seamstream is a master of sewing machine. We typically think of trades like blacksmith when we think of craftsmen. They are defined by the means they use. A good example of craft is actually blacksmithing. So when blacksmithing, it is a process of creating swords and knife out of the metal. So although there, there is an artistic uh, nature of blacksmithing when it comes to their design and principles, this is the only thing that craftsmen are actually doing. So they specialize in a certain field. For example, uh, jeweler. So they specialize in uh, using gold as a medium for, for jewelry, silver or bronze. That they do not try to create new aside from their craft. While well, an artist uses techniques and has form of skills like a craftsman. So that the skill doesn't make an artist but a technician. With skill, a technician can become an artist. An artist can also lack skill and technique and still create work of art. It makes me think of Van Gogh and all the criticism he received about his technique of his artistic journey. Yet we do not doubt he created work of art. Artists need some degree of skills. Some might say the better the technique, the better the work of art. But what truly makes them stand out is the fact that they create with no concrete end in mind. So an art is created with no concrete end, while the craft is created with a concrete end. So for example, a good example for the differences between the two is that a craft has a blueprint to be followed, while an artist and an art has no blueprint to be followed. So they created based on the, uh, be, uh, with no end on the mind of the artist. Let's talk about medium. So what is medium? The word medium comes from the Latin word medium. It denotes the means by which an artist communicates his idea. It is the stuff out which he creates a work of art. These are materials which the artist uses to translate his feelings or thought into a beautiful reality. This may be a pigment in painting, stone, wood, brick, concrete, and various building materials in architecture, steel, marble, bronze, and woods in sculpture, sound in music, and words in literature. So what are the different classification of art? The first classification is visual art. So visual art or space art are those whose mediums can be seen and which occupy spaces. So these are grouped into two classes. The first is the uh, dimensional or two-dimensional art, which includes paintings, drawings, printmaking, and photography. The community planning, industrial design, and the craft like ceramics and furniture making. So those are visual visual art. So they are divided into two classifications, the 3D and the 2D. So when we say 2D, it's the flat spaces, while the 3D occupies space, height, width, and depth. Next classification is the auditory or the time arts. These are mediums that can be expressed and which are expressed in time. These are music and literature. The combined arts are those whose mediums can be both seen and heard, and this exists in both space and Time. So those are the different classification, the differences between art and craft, and artist and artisan. Thank you for 